Hey everyone, it's Riley and today I'm going to be flipping through a bullet journal with you all. So in case you don't already know, I sell custom bullet journals in my Etsy shop. So I post quite a bit of content surrounding that here on YouTube, both flip throughs like this and also some behind the scenes videos. And this journal here was actually the first journal that I like broke down day by day and did little sort of daily um, not like vlogs, but like what I accomplished in that day, I filmed the whole thing. So I'm going to link day one of that series up here in case you want to check it out and just kind of see what my process is like and actually watch some of these themes um, take place instead of just seeing the finished product here. Also, if you're interested in purchasing one of these journals for yourself um, or one of my like pre-made bullet journals, um, you can find the links to my Etsy shop down below. So let's get into the flip through and as we do, please comment down below, let me know which of these monthly themes is your favorite and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed today's content. Alright, so here is the journal that we're going to flip through today. It has been so long since I've done a flip through and this one's really exciting for me because this is actually the first flip through that I'll be doing in these more recent um, journals that I designed. So I've got a bunch of flip throughs using my older journals with like the vegan leather cover, 160 pages, um, and these ones are newer. They've got this linen cover and um, 192 pages. This is the vanilla color. There is also clay available and there are some planners as well. And of course the links to that will be down in my shop. So this journal is a little bit unique. Well, it starts off with the name page. And yes, I am going to cover that. I honestly am just doing a bit of marathon filming right now while my son is out playing with his dad, uh, my husband, but um, I'm gonna come cover that up later, don't worry. So I always start off with a name page like this, this journal belongs to, and then I'm gonna fill in her name after this. And um, this journal, as I was saying, is a little bit unique because it she didn't request any yearly spreads. Normally I do probably about six um, yearly pages, but she didn't request any. I still did a yearly title page, but that's it. So we've got this Hello 2023 title page, even though yes, it's already 2023. This journal is for um, just the later part of this year. And then I left a page empty for her just in case she kind of changed her mind and realized that she did um, need something at the beginning of her journal. And then we get into the first month. So as I mentioned, this journal is for part of 2023 and that is six months beginning in May. So for May, I've got this theme here with this little like plant in a pot and this sort of design style was very heavily inspired by another creator over on Instagram. Um, Living Letter Plans is her username. I'm going to have that linked down below. She shares these reels, which I love, that are like monthly doodle tutorials. Like every month she's got a different set of doodles. And um, this sort of style was inspired by her. So for each month, we've got a title page like this and then some trackers. So habit tracker and I left space up here for her to write in the names of the habits and then a mood tracker for all 31 days of May. And the stamps that I use in this month are my favorite alphabet stamps. They are from Paper World and I have a discount code for them down below. So along with the title and trackers that you just saw, there is a monthly spending log as well. So cash versus credit and then um, she will kind of color code based on like what category the item falls into, you know, groceries, entertainment, transportation, stuff like that. And then there's a meal page as well with just it's just for planning dinners or suppers. So there's 31 days written down here and then she can just write in her meal ideas. So those are the monthly spreads. Now we get into the weekly pages and I cycled between a few different ones at her request. And this is the first one here. So there are six boxes um, for the days of the week. Weekend is combined and then over to the side. Every month, even though the weekly layouts are different, they have the same thing. They've got like a little shopping list, which I call it to buy and then a calendar for that month. And even though this is a minimal doodle journal, that just means I don't really do any doodles on the weekly pages. These are actually um, washi tape stickers from the washi tape shop that I realized after doing this theme, like the color palette and the stickers themselves just went perfectly with this theme. So I put one on every weekly spread here. And of course there will be discount code for the washi tape shop down in the description as well. 
Next we've got June and for June I did kind of a variation of my own February dinosaurs theme. She said that she liked my dinosaur themes so I took my February one which I'm going to link up here and instead of doing kind of earthy tones with like leaves, green and brown, you know, I made more of a bright fun one with flowers in the place of leaves. So again, we've got our habit tracker and mood tracker, and it works the same way, it's just oriented differently, so she'll wanna turn the journal sideways to use these ones. And I alternated between um, those different layouts. Then again, we've got our spending tracker and meal log. And then we get into the second weekly spread, and I know I just said this was a minimal doodle journal, so I didn't do any doodles on the weekly pages. And um, that's normally what I try to do, however, from time to time, I have a customer, and it's no fault of the customer at all, but I have a customer who picks like weekly spreads that don't fit super well with the number of additional like boxes that they want, you know? So this was one of the weekly spreads that she specifically wanted, but she only, you know, she only needed a little calendar and a shopping list. So I was torn between either doing like a small heading and then giving her an extra box that she didn't actually ask for, like a task list or something, or just doing a bigger heading. And I decided to do that instead. So you will see a little bit of doodling on some of the weekly spreads if it's a weekly spread that just kind of needed something to fill the extra space. Then we've got July and for July she asked for an ocean theme. So I've got some little jellyfish, starfish, like a school of purple fish and then blue waves all throughout the month. This is the third weekly layout and I like how it turned out when I used it later in the journal but I'll be honest this month here the weekly spreads are probably my least favorite in this journal. Next we've got August and for August she requested a very common theme that I do. It's this globe with a paper airplane and um, yeah, I've done this one a lot. I actually did this one in the first ever custom bullet journal that I made, um, you know, back when I was just getting started. I was making custom journals for like friends and family and I decided to just make a full year custom journal from start to finish, come up with as many different like themes and spreads as I could and time myself, see how long it took um, to figure out kind of, you know, how I was going to do this and what I was going to price them at and um, different like layouts and themes that I would offer. And that's one of the themes that I did in that journal. So it's always a little bit like kind of nostalgic for me in a way. Then we've got September and for September she asked for a clouds theme so I did some clouds here and then used a really soft purple and actually this purple here was from Tombow but it got really dried up. It was kind of streaky when I was doing the monthly pages because it was drying up and so I actually switched to this one here which is a zig brushable um, in the lavender color instead of that. And finally, we've got October, which is the last month in this journal. So for October, she asked for some kind of autumn, fall sort of theme. So there's some pumpkins, some acorns, some leaves, and then just lots of like kind of bubbly doodles to fill in the space as well. And again, we're back to this weekly layout where we've got tall boxes for the days of the week, but we've still got the calendar and the shopping list. And since this is only a six month journal, that brings us to the end. She still has just over half of the journal that she can use for whatever she would like. Thank you all for joining me for another bullet journal flip through. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.